Hello and welcome to this very special uh, Mersey Sport Live podcast episode. My name is Matthew Holt and today I'm joined by two very special guests in Jamie Weston and Craig Davis, co-chairman and first team manager respectively of Prescott Cables Football Club. Gentlemen, how are we both? Good. All good, Matthew. Thanks for having us. Really good, thanks. Thanks for the invite. No worries. Um, so we've just got a lot to cover in this, uh, this short, pretty brief uh, episode we've got. Um, but the first focus, obviously, I'd like to talk about is that uh, null and void season uh, for Prescott again this uh, this year, following on from the one again last season. Um, I'll pass this one um, over to you, Craig, first. Um, the disappointment, obviously, with the suspension of football um, for you guys. What's the benefit, the, not the benefit, I say, um, what effect did that sort of have um, on you? And how's it been good to, you know, to just start playing football and, uh, and get training uh, back with the lads again more recently? I think the biggest thing that all of us and Jamie are probably about sure was just the, the clarity, really. Um, as it's probably everybody know now that we, we last played in December. So, what are we now? We're May, five months ago. So, I think that the, it was just the burning desire to know what was going on. Um, there was obviously not a lot of information from the FA um, in terms of what was happening. Are we going to be cramming it all in like some of the you know, some of the Sunday leagues that are doing at the moment. Um, and it was difficult to sort of, you know, rally the rally the lads because rightly so there was no there was no potential comeback date to work towards. So it was it was more of a sort of a social to, you know, to get them back together. Um I mean initially it was via Zoom doing strength and conditioning sessions and you know just to have a bit of a laugh on, on, on the internet and stuff. But I mean it's been a it's been a godsend really now that we're allowed to train as a as a team and stuff now. Um and just to see the lads again, which is brilliant. So it's it's t- it's took its toll on everybody. Um but you know hopefully it looks like we're coming out of out of a, a very difficult period. And I think I've said from day one like it there's a bigger message. Um there's there's bigger stuff going on in the world. So um football didn't really matter at that time but now everybody's getting vaccinated and seems to be slowing down um hopefully the the season next year will get complete that's just fingers crossed like so uh, yeah. that's that's where we're at like yeah we can always live in hope can't we yeah and um for you Jamie especially obviously last time we spoke we was talking about how um you know the funds were short you've got bills to pay you got electricity things like that at Prescott um what situation uh, are you guys in uh, we're standing from there with the club um, sort of moving forward now and hoping, like Craig said, for for a bit of a better season next year and a bit of a brighter future now. Um, I, I'd almost say the club's in the best position it's ever been in, which is, it's a very strange thing to say with everything that's gone on. But um, so sort of recently they've they've been introduced the winter survival funding thing. We've been asking for funding for well a, a year effectively. Um, you've been able to scrimp and scrape here and there for you know five hundred pound here, a thousand pound there, um, and now finally the you know non league gets looked at. It's normally the the elite level as they call it in grassroots, and we 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 always fall in that that sort of middle ground, um, and you almost get forgotten about. But finally that's come in. Um, we've now got the clarity on. We've got a start date for next season. The Restrictions look like they're going to end. You know, they're looking at um, even today. They've come out and said potentially social distancing will be gone by the twenty first of June. So, if that comes in, you start planning ahead of crowds. There's going to be no social distancing. It's going to be you know potentially um, unlimited. You know, we normally operate at four four fifty a game. There's the potential that's going to go up a little bit with people being allowed out now, and you start looking at. Sort of planning for the next the next season, budget wise, you know, you're trying to work out how many fans are we going to be allowed in. Again, add the caveat to that that we don't know what the autumn or the winter is going to bring. You know, there's there's going to be a third wave, as they say. It's just how how bad that's going to be if everyone's vaccinated. Um, then you you know you're hoping it's it's a it's not a minor thing, but it it's easier to do, and the the restrictions will be fairly limited. Yeah. And um, of course, we just talked briefly there um, for about the uh, the function and obviously getting revamped and a little bit doing there within the club that I've seen on the socials. Um, how's that going to benefit sort of, you know, bringing in some extra funds for the club, you know, with the potential, like you saying, if the distancing um, removes at the end of June, uh, bringing in, I would say, it's probably going to be some vital funds, isn't it, for, you know, renting it out for, for other uses by the football as well? Yeah, it will. It, it's going to give us, I mean, we've ripped out two areas that were, 
um, sort of raised seat, and that's now going to give us more room. So when we have a function, the amount of people we can have in is going to be increased. Um, we're going to be putting on business events and things, so get projectors installed, get TVs installed. Um, and then in the past, we've had the, the ground hired out, so we've had Mike in, we've had Red Bull in. Um, and there's, again, there'll be more room in there. It'll look a lot fresher, so we're hoping there's, there's opportunities and functions and events we can put on. Um, start doing comedy nights, music nights, things like that, and try and make it within Prescott, you know, somewhere if if we've not got a booking on, that we put something on and it's somewhere you want to be on a, a Friday, Saturday night. Yeah, and that's, that's a good point. It's somewhere to be, and, and Craig, I'll ask it to you, and, and, and the benefits, obviously, uh, like we're saying, with having the, the fans in and having people from from the area in and around to watch football again, how, how big is that for, I would say, for you guys and, and the team? Um, of course, having you have that twelfth man anywhere, don't you? Um, that buzz that's that's around the stadium that's, that's generated on a match day. Yeah, I mean it is cliche, isn't it? it they, they literally are the twelfth the twelfth person um, pushing you on. I mean, we've not had that many experiences to be honest with you because of everything that's gone on. I think we we obviously last season at Colne away in the FA Cup we had a we had a good following um, again under restrictions. Uh, Kendall, the first home game, I think was the first one we'd had in, and then. Obviously, it was it was up and down again in terms of who could come in and out. Um, but no, I mean naturally, you've seen all the all of the uh, the ongoings in the last couple of weeks with the with the uh, proposed sort of super league that we were talking about, and so how fans have come together to, uh, you know, it, it's for them. It, it, it's it's for, for for people who are working hard during the week who just want to go to the to go to the local club of a Saturday and watch their team play, win, lose or draw, and. Um, and um, we just we just we can't just, we just can't wait for that. That'd be, that'd be, yeah, yeah. a big weight off people's big... shoulders to know that they can go and watch the game again. And um, I think, like Jamie said there, I think we'll get even more more coverage because of the you know the lack of uh, people being allowed out and Prescott's on your doorstep. So hopefully, yeah, we 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 can't wait as staff and and then players to have them in on a regular basis because they are the uh, they are the, the 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 pivotal to the pivotal to the football club. And then in terms of player updates, we've we've obviously lost um, MJ Monaghan's decided to to move on. Um, it's probably in the public domain at the moment, but we just have a, we had a conversation on on Thursday at training and just outlined where we we thought we both were. And come Friday, it was uh, he decided to obviously try and explore different options. Um, and I have no I have no qualms with that at all. It's it's just football, I think. We've got a little bit of a, a difference in terms of where we want to go next season, how we want to play, and um, we just felt that it was an opportunity for maybe MJ to see what was out there and and take it from there. Really, and, and he did. Um, in terms of incomings, um, I'm not going to say a lot right now because uh, the, you know, in terms of respect to the other the other players, but we've got some we've got some good good really good signings in in the uh, in the pipeline. And when we know we can announce them, they'll they'll be they'll be uh, hopefully <laughs> the fans will be excited. Um, they're from from you know in terms of competition and leagues, they they've played higher. Um, they've played national league, so and they've been ex professionals. So we we'll keep them under wraps for now. We're still obviously work on you know working on a couple more. Um, but by the time pre season comes around, we'll I'm hoping that we our day one we'll have everybody in and we'll just hit the hit the ground running from there then. Yeah, and um, like you're saying, it, it, it's got the potential to be um, exciting moving forward again. Um, I'll pass you over to uh, to Jamie with this one. In, re in regards to the stadium, obviously, it's been um, a long time since you've had you know people in there with, with up to scratch. Is there, a, is there a lot that needs doing um, in around the stadium to, to get that ready for um, for that potential to, to get the fans back in? What, what's the situation looking like with winning around the ground? Is it ready to, to ready for the matches to, to be hosted again there? Um, we've we, we've got work to do. We've got some. We need to renew the outside toilets. We've got some little bit of concrete work to do, and then a general sort of tidy up and painting and things. Um, getting the ground ready. There'll be pitch improvements made. So you know, um, we'll be spending some money on the pitch, getting that ready. Try and make it the best surface we can for Craig. I know it's not Wembley, but you know we try and try and make it the best we can. Um, we've had issues with it in the past, and it's getting a lot better. And you know, the more money we're putting into that, the better it's getting. Which in turn, gives the lads a better chance to play the way they want to play. Um, so we're just trying to do what we can to get get everything ready, and hopefully, come July, we're, we're welcome welcoming fans back in. Um, the home fans, away fans, ground hoppers, you know, we'll welcome everyone. Anyone who wants to come in, 
we'll be we'll be glad to see them. Yeah, definitely. That's something that I like I say, since um we got first got involved with you guys through through university this year, it's something you know it's that I've not seen um at that level with the, the volunteer round and, and and the way the club feels. Um it, it's a real draw for it and, and how the club um is run on the side of it. Um one for you, Craig, um as he was touching on there with the wanting you you know the boys to play have a nice surface and whatnot. What is the what's the end goal, the aim again um for Prescott moving into next season? Obviously you're saying you've got some players that have played a little bit higher. Does that mean you know it's always going to be the top end of the table? What's what's your what's you and and I presume the conversation driving with Lee for next season? Yeah, no, you, you you've obviously got to be careful here in terms of we're going to go and win the league and we're going to go and get promotion. And obviously if that doesn't happen then you you look a little bit red faced. But we want to be as competitive as we can. Um I think everybody that I've spoke to in terms of recruitments or anybody that you chat generally about football is Prescott's probably one of the most difficult places to go to. First and foremost, we want to make, again, make that place a fortress, you know, and in years gone by, as you come in and, and you're in for one hell of a game, and that, that sums up the area, that sums up the community, um, you're the hard-working people, and uh, we want to bring that back. And obviously my ambitions personally, and, and Jamie and, and the rest of the the, the chairmen will know that we um I'm as ambitious as, as anybody and I wanna I wanna be that that one who takes Prescott back into the next division. Um we've got a lot of work to do obviously because it's a tough tough level. A lot of really good teams and, and good players at this level. So we've got to have obviously a little bit of luck. But I think with the recruitment that we we're potentially going to be be announcing soon, I think it'll be put us in a good position to be um, really competitive next season. Um, as I say, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go we're gonna be fifth or or third and, and, and throw a, a position on it, but um I wanna secure I wanna try and secure promotion um and, and, and obviously as I say be part of a managing team and, and group of players that gets us potentially into a into a step three uh, level again because it hasn't happened for a for a long time. I think the last time it was I was watching um it was about 14, 15 in, in, in school still when like Sir Neil Robinson was up front, who went off off, off to, to Macclesfield and Carl Baker was in and around it, Mark Duffy, those those lads that have gone on to have good careers. So if I can be the, the manager who takes them up potentially, then obviously that'd be uh, that would be amazing. Yeah, um I just got one uh, final one before you before we wrap up um tonight for the both of you. Um obviously the football and, and, and getting that that social side and being back in the stadium is the most exciting thing. But is there a particular aspect for the both of you that you know you're really looking forward to once you know this 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 stage or this you know what this pandemic what we've been going through is, is past us and, and we can look forward is there one particular thing or, or an aspect you're looking forward to the most Jamie I'll, I'll start with you um there's probably two the first one's getting the fans back in and just just seeing the ground full the games on um I think that's you know there's a lot of talk on mental health and things and I think there's a lot of people who have, have missed it and not realised what it meant to them. So get, getting everyone back in again um, is, is going to be amazing. And the kind of second one is the, the one thing I'd look like to do is finish the season because we've gone two seasons now. Um, decisions have been made, you know, whether you agree with them or not, um, where they've null and voided seasons where maybe they should have should have waited a little bit and seen what happened. Um, you know, we probably could have finished the original season with the games you played like this season just gone. So, you know, in hindsight, you know, maybe better decisions could have been made. But ultimately, it, just to finish the season and, you know, get get back to that sort of, you know, whatever normal is going to be now is get back to that and just get everyone cracking on again. And for you, Craig, what's, what's the thing for you that's, that's, that's going to be the best, uh, the, the, the aspect? It's just echo on what Jamie said, and it is, you know, again, cliche, but it is the fans. I mean, just simple things like your fans forum, where back in the day you'd, you'd go in the clubhouse and all the fans are coming, you'd have a you'd have a beer with them, and they pose questions to you. And we've not had that interaction yet because of everything that's gone on, the the, the craving and, and the buzzing of, of football coming back, hopefully competitively, is is something that me personally, if I can't sort of live without, like so. No, the, the fans just being back in. Um, having that interaction with them, and, and as Jamie said, if we can have a season, that would be, I think that would be a, a really good progress considering the last two campaigns. Yeah, of course. Um, and that's pretty much what we've got time for um, on this this episode uh, this evening. I just want to say a huge thank you, of course, to, to Jamie and um, and to Craig for joining me. Um, and I wish all the success, and you know that we can we can see live football 
uh, back again at Prescott in the in the near future. So um, yeah, thank you ever so much for joining us. It's much appreciated. Cheers, Pleasure. thank you. Cheers.